You know, today we actually produced a few pleasant surprises in the form of some milder temperatures thanks to sunshine that stuck around a little bit longer than we had originally anticipated. And this is one of those times we are more than happy to admit where we might have been off the mark just a little bit. Because of that, we made it up into the middle and upper 60s, whereas lower 60s were what were predicted a day above normal. It's been a ne nearly a week since we've seen that. But we have seen some changes take place here and big changes at that. Very easy to tell where it has rained and where it has yet to rain. Where you're in the 40s and 50s, you've had wet weather. Where you're still in the 60s, the showers haven't gotten to you just yet. Wind's really not much of a factor except for in Rockford where there was a brief gust here up to tw uh, 21 miles per hour with one of these heavier downpours that has worked uh, into uh, the south side of Rockford. Meantime, I am watching just to the south of Cedar Rapids, a stronger thunderstorm that has a severe thunderstorm warning attached to it. It's heading in this direction. All expectations, though, are that these storms will be weakening, and so I'm really not going to concern ourselves too much with the possibility of severe weather. With that said, the radar is filling in quite nicely off to our south and west, and I'll expect that to be a trend that continues, meaning once it starts raining, no matter, depending on where you are, it's not likely to stop anytime terribly soon. We'll be dealing with a rather constant threat of showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder. No frost concerns this go around as temperatures only fall tonight down to 60 degrees. Now, as we look into tomorrow, it's not going to be an all day washout, but I would keep the umbrella handy at any point in time and at any particular location because there is going to be a chance for showers, maybe a thunderstorm really at any point in the day. Again, though, there will be dry hours and plenty of them. Fast forward then into tomorrow night and Friday, kind of the same story during the daytime on Friday, though showers become much more widespread heavier at times, some thunder possible, uh, even some stronger thunderstorms will need to be watched. So that is a development worth watching. And then we get on the back side of the storm on Saturday, we see a little bit of backwash moisture that could bring us some showers through, especially the first half of the day. So let's talk about the severe weather potential. Not going to rule it out entirely, especially in our southwesternmost areas, but I really do think that the chances for severe weather are very, very low. Maybe a storm uh, manages to produce some hail and that's it. Severe threat shifts way westward here tomorrow as our winds tomorrow are off of Lake Michigan. So a much more stable environment for us. And then as we go to Friday, that's the day we're going to watch out for. The entire area is painted in that level one out of five. Marginal risk for severe weather, maybe a little bit of hail and a brief wind gust. But I really think the biggest story out of everything that's going to transpire over the course of the next several days, some very heavy rainfall. Anywhere in yellow, that's one to two inches. In orange, that's two to three. And even a few pockets of three to five inches are uh, possible. The good news is, is that this comes spread out over a long enough period of time that I'm not too worried about flash flooding. However, it is still something worth monitoring. Tomorrow, it's likely we stay in the 50s for most, if not all of the day. I think we uh, eventually top out at 60, then 62 on Friday, mid 50s for us then as we go into Saturday and even cooler on Sunday. We don't lose the rain entirely, Mike and Anna Marie until maybe Monday. Oh boy, prepare, get your umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, we were so fortunate for so long, we can yeah. put up with this. And, and you know, the reality is guys, we still do desperately need the rain. We are still yeah. in a drought. We're about seven, almost eight inches below normal for the year. So yeah. this is actually the kind of rain that we really, really do need. All right, All right. Thanks, thanks Mark. Mark.